IRAP's Dana Flynn and Associates with your end of the day spider ETF review for this Monday, the 13th of July, 2020. Man, I'm late, I'm about seven. Announcement. You know, I told you I hurt my foot. I've been limping along here. Well, the doctor said it's uh, something and it's infected because it's so swollen. And they want me to go into the hospital for IVs in my arm as they knock out the infection, whatever the heck it is. I feel great, I don't have a temperature, but it's, I can't walk. I mean, it's just terrible. I mean, I'm walking, don't get me wrong. I'm not crawling around the house, but it is terrible. So I'm gonna be gone, I'm guessing, up until the weekend, maybe early, maybe day or so behind that, I don't know. When I'm back, I'm back. I, I haven't taken a vacation, so consider this the vacation, okay? We'll put up little videos until I'm back. Uh, today, interesting day. What, what set the market off today in the early in the morning is it that just doesn't care how many COVID cases we had in Florida, all time records, uh, bigger than some countries. I, I was reading it's the fourth largest hotspot in the world. Uh, market didn't care. What it did care about late in the day was when California stepped in and said, guess what? Zoos, museums, house of worship, the two big school systems in San Diego and Los Angeles closed. Indoor dining shut down, movie theaters shut down, boom. Now a new problem. So there goes your first big area. And remember, California is as big as what? Some countries. Their economy is unbelievable. They, they could be a country. So this is not very good. Now will Texas start paying attention? Probably Arizona, Florida. The problem hasn't gone away. We are still in the first phase of this COVID. The president may not like Dr. Uh, Fauci, but I got to tell you, he's been the only one really right. And everything's open too fast. Now you got to close it down. What is that going to do to those small businesses? It's going to destroy them in many cases. What do you do if you have a restaurant without outdoor space? You tell me. What about the employees there? So you can keep buying stocks because I realize that's the game in town and I'm not against it. I do get it. I'm not being facetious. But at some point, the real COVID also hits the market. So the question is, all these Johnny come lately that just keep buying on everything, are they going to wait on a dip and support the market? Well, we'll find out, won't we? When we take a look at the tech sector, the highest high of the move, poof. And then a big reversal down today, just over 2%. One day doesn't make a trend, but one day can end an existing trend, and it did. So now you have a higher high, lower and low. In other words, you stepped out of the swing line trend. When we look at the chart, you haven't done any serious damage. Each break to the 18-day average has found support. Why would this one not be the same? That's the first thing I consider. Where has the market been held back? consistently at the upper dash black line, the Bollinger Band algorithm. Today, stop there again, so no magic to that. Momentum, though, changed. On the close, you lost the bullish embedded reading. That often means a change, and that change can lead to price in the 18-day average making a run at each other. You can see you've lost that number by four and a half points, so getting it back is not going to be easy. SMH, my God, it was a clone today, I was watching, and it was on CNBC. Semiconductors running to the new highs, the SMH. Okay, it also fell pretty hard, two point, uh, what is 1.44%, and broke its uptrend. Did it lose the embedded reading? It certainly did. So we'd have to see if it comes back. What about the industrial sector spider? Well, it stayed bullish. It still has the higher lows, the higher highs. The settlement at 68.29, though, is refusing to stay over that 18-day average of closes, so you're not getting on the filter. I use where the market is under or over that 18-day average to give me the buy signal with the swing line. It hasn't filtered a buy signal. It's staying under it. Momentum flat. Now I'm also getting concerned. A pipe is, I want you to think about it, is when the Bollinger Bands narrow in dramatically and they start going sideways. It's often a sign that a churn is likely to hit. 
that's what I'm starting to get. You don't have that in the energy sector. In the energy sector, you still have a fully bearish embedded reading. That's when the two numbers to make up slow stochastics are going sideways under 20. You're staying under the 18 and the 100 day average of closes. And because you're embedded, it rules the day, not the swing line study. QQQ. This is what I call the Gorilla Glue trade. What do I mean by that? It's like you can't get away from the upper Bollinger Band. That's a bullish, not a bearish sign. What you have to be concerned about is when we reopen in the morning, unless you're up and you gotta be up a good amount, you're gonna lose the embedded reading. It's just how the math works on this. So be aware of that. The market could lose some momentum here. And if it loses enough, maybe it's the 18 day average the market might be eyeballing. Here's that pipe in the ETF emerging. You got the combination and the light dashed line here. That's the 200 day average of closes in the upper Bollinger Band. If I'm a pro on the first challenge of that, that's too much resistance. And that's what I think went on. I don't think they're gonna come back in until they get a feel for this COVID thing in a day or so. Maybe overnight they'll get more info. You did not in gold lose the embedded reading, but the futures are. And you've got to see in the morning what the futures are doing. If they're steady to lower, the odds favor you're gonna lose that embedded reading, and you might be headed back to this 166.75 if it stays lost. If the market and futures are up, you may just hold right here and scoot around and try to hit that upper Bollinger Band. Either way, the first time you hit a Bollinger Band, what do I teach? And I say it here all the time. This is the exact position you don't don't want to be in. You wanted to be out at the Bollinger Band, so now you're in the decision, do you want to buy fresh or do you want to stand to the sideline rather than protecting a position? Got it? There's a difference. Gold miners, you lost the embedded reading. Scoot, scoot, scoot until this thing gets back to embedded. Away you go. You could be headed immediately down to the 18-day average. The, the trend hasn't turned. You still have higher lows, higher highs, and the bias is up, but I hang my hat on what that does. TLT, sideways action. Now I saw today Goldman and Nuveen. I, I saw the Goldman letter and I saw, I think it was Bob Dole out of Nuveen talking how they're thinking that the 10-year note would have an easier time getting back to 1% by year end. I am not necessarily in their camp. Um, it's hard to be in that camp if we can't tame down this COVID-19 because all you're gonna see is the Fed continue to keep interest rates low and throw more money at the market as the US government will. What do you do with all these small businesses, these cities that don't have money? They don't have tax revenue as this goes on. It's getting worse, not better, and it's election year. Oh boy. So. I don't know that I'm agreeing that interest rates will go up. I think you have too fluid of an, a, a situation that keeps flaring up in this COVID. These aren't small flare-ups. This is as bad now as it was. Now, what we're all trying to avoid is the complete shut-in. We'll see if that occurs. In FXE, the resistance is the upper Bollinger Band. I think the pros, as you know, are bullish. I think they took some money off there. We'll see if the market corrects it all. And that's where you're at. So I want to remind you, I'm not going to be here next five days, probably. All you need to do is give us a, a call, www.irapstein.com, if you want to sign up for our services. They'll resume. I haven't taken a vacation this year, so I can take a few days off. And uh, yeah, I really haven't. You know, I, I, I've been, I was here all through Christmas and so on, too. So to make a long story short, nah. So I'd get a few days and take care of myself, not at the end of the earth. Go to our website, www.irapstein.com. Go under research. You can see how to sign up for everything we have. And under our free offerings, I will still be writing my updates. So while I don't have a camera in front of me, I will be able to write those I will be doing. I'm Irapstein. You have a good day. I will talk to you all when I get back.